Concerns are being raised about what some students and parents call divisive and offensive clothing worn by students at a high school in Racine. Now Latino advocacy groups want the school to address the issue. CBS 58's Victor Jacobo is live in Racine with more details. Victor. That's right. A photo circulated online shows some students wearing T-shirts with the phrase Trump's wall on them. Students of color here at the high school took action to address the issue. It's not solely just the issue of the T-shirt. It's the message that it's sending. Cynthia Galvan's son told her he and other students of color at Racine Lutheran were offended by the Trump's wall T-shirts, which were worn during a homecoming event this week. School administrators say when staff saw the shirts, they told students they could not wear them. Galvan says this latest incident pushed students and parents to get help outside the school to address more deeply rooted issues. It kind of was like the last straw. Like we have to have a conversation about this. And if, and if they're not listening to the students or even to the parents, then other organizations have to come and, and help us. We see this rhetoric, anti-immigrant rhetoric, actually being applied towards citizen and non-citizen alike. And uh, we knew we had to get involved. Four Latino and the League of United Latin American Citizens of Wisconsin stepped in to engage with the school administration. The group say the incident is unfortunate, but it has sparked important dialogue. And we've offered technical assistance to help um, alleviate these issues, because as I mentioned before, this is not something that's simply isolated to this school. It's happening across the country. In a statement Racine Lutheran Principal and Executive Director David Burgess wrote that the school has addressed the issue and engaged in conversations with four Latino and LULAC. He adds healing and growth will come out of ongoing discussions. Four Latino says it is partnering with the Anti-Defamation League to offer anti-bias and multicultural best practices and training for the school. Reporting live in Racine, Victor Jacobo, CBS 58 News.